years ago today. Programmes like Emergency Ward 10 and What the Papers Say made their first appearance back in those days when only one household in a hundred actually had a television set. Some of the faces who made their first appearance on the screen, there was Guy Thomas and there was the man who launched ITV in this part of the world, that's Bruce Lewis and he's still living in the area. Well, Alison has been catching up with him. Every newspaper heralded its arrival with banner headlines. Independent television had come into the West Country and it was virtually shouted from the rooftops. January the 14th, 1958 was to be a day the West will never forget. Unlike today, few households could boast a television set and people crowded into neighbours' houses for a first sight of those programmes that were soon to become compulsive viewing. And before long, TWW was affectionately nicknamed Telly Welly by its viewers. And those early days were exciting too for the people who made the programmes. The first face ever seen was that mm -hmm. of Bruce Lewis, who remembers the day only too well. I remember the first programme particularly, which went on the air, I think, at four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, as so often happens on these occasions, I think virtually everything went wrong. Um, we had an old camera which had been lent to us by another studio, and it was mounted on a pedestal which was hydraulically operated, and the camera kept rising up. And the cameraman asked us if we would rise up to keep in shot because there was nothing he could do to control it. Um, when we went on the air, of course, we were so nervous, um, and I had to introduce the managing director. And a few seconds before we went on the air, the cameraman, who had actually been holding the camera, and it was so badly balanced that it tipped forward ten seconds before we went on the air. I looked at the shot in the monitor, and it was a shot of the managing director sitting next to me, with a shot of his lap, and all his fly buttons were undone. <laughs> Did you laugh? No, I, I nearly walked out of the studio. But I nudged him and I said, excuse me. And uh, his reaction was to shoot out one of his very long legs. He was about six foot four, this man. And he had an idiot board with all his speech written on this idiot board. His legs shot out. The idiot board went across the studio. And the next second we were on the air. And I introduced the thing. I said, well, welcome to ITV. Turned to the managing director, introduced him. He made an excellent speech without the idiot board. <laughs> and Bruce went on to introduce the programme for 10 years. He has many fond memories of what he calls the good old days in broadcasting, including this one. Um, but on this particular occasion, and I was very um, nervous about this, I was actually being interviewed. Um, I just had a book published, and I was interviewed by a young reporter who I thought was very good. His name was um, Bruce Hawking. I don't know what's happened to him. But he was very good. I, I thought he had quite a future. Thank you very much indeed. And this young Bruce, a bit older and a bit fuller and a bit greyer now, is still with you and glad to be here. And before you start calling, of course, Bruce Lewis does have a son. That's Peter Lewis, a very familiar face on HTV these days. But just think, when I started in ITV all those years ago, young Alison wasn't even a twinkle in her dad's <laughs> eye. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to say that. On to other things. Beginning to its maiden voyage.